Elon Musk's superfans and worshippers have flocked to the middle of nowhere in Texas to watch SpaceX's attempts at building a space-worthy rocket and to find friends. To these people, everything happening at the Starbase is history in the making, and no matter what, they don't want to miss a second of it, even if that means leaving everything behind to start a new life dedicated to Elon and his ideas for space exploration. Here's everything we know. First things first, what is Starbase? The Texas base was the primary location where the company began building and testing prototypes of Starship, the company's most ambitious rocket to date. It is SpaceX's next generation vehicle, shaped like a massive silver bullet and is designed to launch cargo and one day people to distant worlds. It's designed to be completely reusable and capable of landing upright on other planets' surfaces. The moon is the first stop, then it's on to Mars. However, the Starship has yet to travel into space. SpaceX began launching prototypes to high altitudes and then attempting to land them in one piece to prepare for its first trip to orbit, simulating how the rockets will need to land when traveling to alien planets. Moving on, what is it about SpaceX and Musk that's creating waves this big? Elon Musk gave his first presentation at the International Astronautical Congress in Guadalajara, Mexico in 2016. His speech was in front of thousands of reporters, conference attendees, and fans in a large auditorium. The audience rushed in as the doors opened, shrieking with delight as they trampled across the carpeted floor toward the stage. Musk took questions from the audience after his presentation. One woman asked if she could give him a good luck kiss on behalf of all the ladies. Another man yelled, this guy inspires the out of us and offered him a comic book he had created for Musk as a gift. This was only a small taste of the fanaticism surrounding SpaceX and Elon Musk. The fandom is obviously an important part of the company's success, and spaceflight doesn't happen without some kind of collective enthusiasm and imagination. Some fans decided that what was going on in Texas was worth uprooting their entire lives for. Musk went on about the possibility that that Earth will be destroyed one day, and that it's something we must prepare for. He explained that we have the technology and know-how to establish a Martian settlement, but the window could be short or long, and we must work as hard as possible to arrive as soon as possible. Next up, let's get to know one of these super fans, Anthony Gomez. Anthony Gomez first saw one of SpaceX's Starship prototypes take flight through a projector. He was a long way from the humid Texas coast, where the launch was actually taking place. Instead, he was sitting in his Florida home with his girlfriend. Anthony watched the Starship rocket careen through the sky from the inside of his house. But unfortunately, upon landing, the spacecraft came down too fast, hitting the ground hard and bursting apart in a massive explosion. To Anthony, the explosion wasn't the real tragedy. It was that he had witnessed a historic moment on YouTube. YouTube, along with everyone else. Not being able to see it happen in person was like missing it entirely. After that, Anthony couldn't get Boca Chica out of his mind. The small patch of land on the very southern tip of Texas where SpaceX had developed an entire construction and launch facility known as Starbase. SpaceX tried again in February, not long after Anthony witnessed the first explosive test launch in December 2020. He made a point of visiting Southern Texas this time. The launch date shifted as SpaceX sought permission from the Federal Aviation Administration, but Anthony was unfazed. He traveled back and forth, eventually landing in nearby Port Isabel before the test was approved. Now, let's talk about the Rocket Ranch. Rocket Ranch is an isolated area of land in Boca Chica, near the Starbase launch site, where enthusiasts have been gathering to watch the test from afar. Often, 
in. One of these super fans' brief visit to Rocket Ranch turns into an overnight stay, then a couple of days, then a full week. Eventually, their stay becomes long enough to convince them that they want to make the situation permanent. Next thing you know, they're packing up and moving to Boca Chica full time. Typically, when you think of a ranch, you think of lots of wood paneling, antlers on the wall, and animal hide rugs. But this place was a SpaceX fan's dream, and we're assuming it would feel pretty at home to someone who understood all the references and paraphernalia. Apart from a small collection of homes called Boca Chica Village, Rocket Ranch is one of the closest places one can stay near the Starbase facility. Finally, is it all worth it? According to Nick and Sweeney, that's a yes. Nick and Sweeney, a photographer for NASASpaceflight.com, which has no affiliation with NASA, was one of the Rocket Ranch's many visitors. The website had gone all in on Starbase, establishing a number of 24-hour live streams in Boca Chica, with cameras trained on the launch complex and production site. If a major test occurred, NASASpaceflight.com was there to document it. Nick was influenced by a launch, specifically the first Falcon Heavy launch in 2018. He had studied to be an accountant before leaving to go independent, recording podcasts and filming reviews of commercial tech products. He then moved to Boca Chica full-time. Nick was now at Starbase every day, from sunrise to sunset. Nick ended up spending a week camping on the beach directly in front of the launch complex. The sight of new parts coming through the area and rockets being assembled in front of his eyes changed his life. And Sweeney explained that he had never felt the need to drop everything he was doing and go pursue something to its fullest extent. But SpaceX provided him with that opportunity. The former to-be accountant lived in his car on the beach, where he had camped during his first visit to Texas for the first few months, and only documented Starbase activity. He claims he lost 100 pounds because he kept forgetting to eat. All of this uprooting his entire life and making it revolve around the phenomenon that is Elon Musk and SpaceX is worth it to Nick and Sweeney, because he feels like he's documenting history. Everyone else living at the Rocket Ranch or making trips to and from the Starbase feels the same way. Now on to other news. First up, astronomers are blown away by the first Webb Space Telescope images of the Orion Nebula. The James Webb Space Telescope has once again demonstrated its incredible power by capturing the most detailed and sharp images of the Orion Nebula's inner region. This stellar nursery is located within the Orion constellation, approximately 1,350 light years from Earth. Western University in Ontario, Canada were part of an international collaboration that focused on these recently released images. They were obtained as part of the photo dissociation regions for all early release science program, and they reveal numerous spectacular structures within the nebula at scales comparable to the size of the solar system. Proplids, also known as ionized protoplanetary disks, are made up of a central protostar surrounded by a dust and gas disk in which planets form. Several protostellar jets, outflows, and nascent stars embedded in dust can be seen scattered throughout the images. Next up, Congress is asking for more transparency into the new Shepard failure investigation. House Space Subcommittee leaders have requested additional information from the Federal Aviation Administration regarding its investigation into a Blue Origin New Shepard launch accident. Representatives Don Bayer and Brian Babin asked for more information about the FAA's ongoing investigation into the September 12th failure of the New Shepard vehicle and wrote that their interest stems from the fact that New Shepard also carries people. They explained that on a different day with a different mission, this vehicle's anomaly could have endangered human lives. Bayer and Babin, the chair and ranking member of the House Science Committee's Space Subcommittee, respectively, cited their responsibility for overseeing the FAA's Commercial Space Transportation Office and commercial launch and re-entry in general as reasons for wanting more information about the investigation, including the root cause and steps to create
correct the problem that caused it. They also requested that subcommittee staff be briefed within 10 days. Finally, Vast Space is set to develop an artificial gravity space station. Vast Space, a Southern California startup founded by cryptocurrency billionaire Jed McCaleb, intends to build a low Earth orbit artificial gravity space station. McCaleb envisions a future in which millions of people live all over the solar system. Since other companies are assisting in lowering launch costs, Michaela believes the next critical step would be to build large structures where people can live and work in space. The billionaire explained how mankind needs a frontier and that we haven't had one for some time. He added that without a frontier, the world becomes a zero-sum game, which is detrimental to the psyche of a civilization. And in terms of the long-term future of humanity, we will need to leave Earth eventually. McCaleb, whose fortune Forbes estimates at $2.5 billion, intends to fund Vast's work initially on his own. Vast is likely to seek outside investment in the long run. In the short term, however, the company will remain focused on its mission and will not become reliant on investors. That's a wrap for this video. Would you move all the way out to Boca Chica to get a glimpse of the starbase like these super fans have? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.